So now let's take a look at extrude faces tool inside of Cinema 4D. For that, I'm going to take a simple cube right here. And you can see that over here, I got the C. So I have NB turned on so that I can see the outlines right here. So let's take a look at the extrude tools. But before that, I need to go over here and press C to convert this shape into a polygon. So I'm going to go over here on to mesh and over here you can see that there's extrude and extrude inner. Right now this is not uh, available for selection because I have to be on the face tool for that. So I'm going to select a face and over here on the mesh you can see that there's extrude and extrude inner. So let me click on extrude and over here you can see that nothing happens. I have to hold control and I need to drag it and you can see that a division is actually made. I can press control again, I can drag it up and you can see that the extrude happens again. And I can hold control to make as many divisions as I want. So that's extrude. Another thing you have is extrude inner. So in order to do that, I can go over here into mess and choose extrude inner. And once I click and drag, you can see that a sub surface actually appears just like that. So that is what extrude and extrude inner actually does to shapes. So I can add in details to models just like this. I'm going to go over to the overall object, delete this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cube and make something like a computer monitor. So let me go to the cube over here and let me arrange the size. So I'm going to make it lifelike. So I'm going to go over here and now let's have something like a 30 centimeter cube right here. So something around 15 inch monitor, there you go. So let me just go over here. This is the actual size of the monitor. I don't want much length on the x-axis. So let's say something like a uh, three centimeter would be good. And over here on the z-axis, I want it to be a little wider, just like this. So this is a widescreen monitor, just like this. This is a bit below the ground. So I'm going to go over here on to the side and I'm going to bring this up so that it's labeled according to the floor right here. So now in order to give the details, uh, of a computer monitor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a face, go over here. Uh, I'm going to select the object first and then I'm going to select the face. I'm going to go on to, uh, all right, so there's one thing that I forgot to do. I have to go over here and press C to convert this into a polygonal object. So now I'm going to select the face. I'm going to do an inner extrude right here. Over here, you can see that inside mess, Extrude, the shortcut key is D, and in extrude, the shortcut key is I. So I'm going to use the shortcut keys now. So I'm going to press I, and what it does is it enables the extrude tool. So I can just bring this down, just like that, and there you go. The details has been met, just like this. I can also increase and decrease the angle over here, and increase and decrease the offset right over here. Seems like I created two extrude because I actually pulled it twice. So let me just press Ctrl Z, and there you go. So once that's done, I can also increase the subdivision level. I can also increase and decrease this offset right from over here. Anyways, I have the detail that I want over here. And now what I want to do is I want to extrude this inwards. So I'm going to add in one more detail. I'm going to hold, uh, I'm going to press D. So it changes into extrude. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to push this in. So it becomes like a computer monitor bezel as you can see over here. So now over here at the back, I want to add in some detail as well. So I'm going to go over into uh, extrude inner tool again, press I, click here, press I. I'm going to just select the face right here, press I, and then just drag it uh, downwards, okay? So not dragging in, all right, to drag it downward over here, and I'm going to pull this a bit towards the back. So it does look like a computer monitor, as you can see right here. I'm going to go to the object mode and over here, you can see that I have a computer monitor already, just like this. I'm just going to use the extrude tool again to add in some more details from the bottom side. So I'm going to go on to my face mode right here. I'm going to select my face. I'm going to uh, press extrude in again, so uh, I, and I'm going to just click and drag it. So there comes a bit of a detail. I can also go over here on to the scale so that I can resize this. I want this to be the computer stand, the stand side. And I'm going to extrude this out. So I'm going to uh, press D and I'm going to drag this out over here. I'm going to hold D and what I'm going to do is press D. Again, hold control 
and drag this out to give it a bit more detail, just like this. So I'm going to press control again. I have another level of detail right there. I can expand the size of this by using this tool again. So I can expand the size just like this subtly. And I'm going to hold control again and then use the uh, movement tool control again to add in a bit of more detail just like this again and a bit more detail. I'm going to expand this just like this, expand it out over here just like that. And I'm going to hold, um, I'm going to press D again and then press control to bring one more shape just like this. And there you go. There's a very basic uh, polygonal shape of a computer monitor. I'm going to go to my overall shape tool, bring it down into the ground level just like this. And there you go. There's my computer monitor shape totally made out of the extrude and inner extrude tool. So that's how you uh, use the polygonal modeling technique and make use of the extrude faces tool inside of Cinema 4D to model something. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.